Cindy A. Lewis here and today I'm bringing you a video on a gift basket for a new mama and a lot of times the babies get all the gifts and the mama sometimes gets forgotten and so we're gonna put together a little gift basket to help renew mom and just make her feel special and so that's what this is in this video thanks so much for being here today i invite you to subscribe and let's jump in so if you've seen any of my gift basket videos you know that i love to do that as a gift and it's always fun to find a lot of little things that make a great big huge hug in a basket and so that's what this is and i'm going to show you what i purchased everything's from dollar tree and then we're going to put it together okay so what i did pick up for this gift basket is a bow um there's two here so i can use that in more than one place also everything is in the basket that i purchased so we're just gonna make it look really pretty and i picked pink because it's for a new mom and she had a little girl. And so this is a bath bomb, pink vanilla wish. I also picked up some lotions, a peony scented and a vanilla scented. This is by Crystal Waters. I picked up some Hershey's Kisses and of course they're pink. I also picked up nail files in the heart shape some elastics for your hair for mom there's three different ones here as well as some lovely pink socks so you see the theme here is pink uh, a little eye mask for mom for her bath a little poof there a little bath sponge a little head wrap pink this is not pink but i thought she might enjoy that skinny pop also, this is not pink, and I thought she could put a picture here of her new baby. Our family is forever, or maybe her husband and her and the baby. And then, I might color those hearts in pink, actually. And then, some of the shredded pink paper. I did get her a journal. This is a $3, Keep Life Simple, and it's just a little journal with a little styly pen in the rose gold with the little crystal. Now that journal was from the $3 in the plus side. Also some bath salts. This is peony scented. It is also the crystal waters. Amazing. Then uh, some water, some a Shirley Temple. I don't know, I haven't drank that, but it's supposed to be like seven up with cherry. And then apple cinnamon, another little snack that is not pink, but I wanted to get something, you know, pretty generic. I did get baby blocks, and I thought I would mix those in, as well as some Godiva chocolates, dark chocolate, and two milk chocolate pretzel rods with the pink colored chocolate on there. I got some hearts to mix in, just to mix in with it. Some Junior Mints. And then, of course, this cute basket. It's a grommet tote from Dollar Tree. It was on the $5, so in the plus. But I wanted to make sure it held really well. And I was looking for something pink, so I had to pick that. So, basically, what I do is I fill the bottom I usually use some tissue and I also have this decorative um, shredded paper so I'm going to put the tissue in first and then I always use a basket bag to finish it up to make it look special this is the gift tissue that I purchased at Dollar Tree it has pink tissue and the hearts I think I'm gonna go with just just the pink in the bottom and what I do is I take it out and I just kind of wad it up and put it in the bottom there. And so you'll see what I mean. 
I just wad it up. And it's kind of filler, but it looks pretty too. Okay, so I filled that in. Now I'm going to take the shredded paper and just spread some throughout, just, just around, all around. So it's just more playful than anything. It's not necessarily doing anything. It's just for the look of it. And then when I add things to the basket, then it kind of all kind of cushions everything together. I always work with the large things and then put the smaller things on top. For the picture frame, all I'm doing is coloring in the hearts with a marker just to give a little extra to it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the back, sort of in the middle, because it's about their family. And then I have this, I'm gonna reach across here, this Shirley Temple drink that she could have for herself in her bath, a little water, her little bath soap, salts, and then just build around everything and filling in like within the candle and all of her goodies. And then I do like to also put in um, extra papers for filler. So I'm just gonna finish this up. Okay, so I've filled up the basket pretty much with everything. I'll put that down a little bit. And then all I wanna do is take a few of these little pink hearts and I wanna scatter them into the basket. And then I'm going to take the baby blocks and add them to the basket as well. And it just adds so much to it. And you don't even really have to have a planned, you know, look for them. It's just sort of scatter. And you can see them through the, the, uh, the paper when you put it together. So here's the baby blocks. And this is just from the shower section. So you could even put something in them, I think, yeah. So we're just gonna put those in there and just nestle them in there. See, baby. And then all I have left to do is to put the wrap around it. So it's a basket bag and then put the bow on top. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you how I did wanna just show you one thing. Basket bags come two in a package and it's really cool to, um, to be able to put this on a basket and make it look so professional. So one thing that I do also is just to share with you is I try to sit the basket into the bag first and it does come with a twisty tie so i hope you enjoyed this video it's really fun and a fun gift to give and a fun gift to receive for anyone and this is my basket for the new mom thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and got some ideas